Welcome back into the Upstate. Paul's Lonzo here, T2, Matthew, Cameron. And I just realized with the light the way it is, with the hair the way it is, I'm wearing yellow. I look like Hulk Hogan. It's uh, Oh, you do. Yeah, I oh, you definitely it. do. Oh, yeah, I, just, I see it now. Yeah. I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. Hey. I don't know the rest of the song, brother. <laughs> I thought it went well. Very well done. Very well done. Uh, Pappy sings Hulk Hogan. is a, It's an amazing thing. All right. So we all took a trip Thursday, as Matthew corrected me on. I said last night, um, but that, that's fine. We want to be accurate here. What do you expect from the or, critical cause? Or as. Uh, <laughs> there you as, go. No, that no, could no, be his no, new name. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. As uh, critical cause. As uh, the. The. The critical one is not here today and he could be listening. He'll be here next week. So, uh, you know, I'm used to being corrected from that chair, as I said on the stream and, and that's okay. Uh, because he's right. You miss it a little. No, no, I do miss it a little. I, or I miss it a lot, but that's, that's all right. Um, so, um, anytime I'm criticized by anyone, I immediately think of Chris. You go in frustration. As yeah, well. He's still um, here. He's still skinning. He's down the hall. He'll be here next week playing D and D with us and no one on the air right now, believes your character is actually a girl. Nobody. If you're listening, I just want you to know, <laughs> none of us believe that. I don't it's, believe it. It's not actually, <laughs> not actually a girl. I don't believe uh, it. All right, so we, the four of us, took a trip down the road to Simpsonville, to uh, the Simpsonville IMAX, to see Dragon Ball Super Hero Thursday night. I was a little disappointed in the turnout, but here's the thing. We went to see it in IMAX. There was another theater there that was not in IMAX, and it probably had more people... It's projected to do really well. Apparently, it made $10 million opening night, which is not bad for not an bad. anime. And it's got a shot at beating um, – it was a Pokemon movie. I, did, I didn't write it down. That was one of the uh, the best opening weekends for an anime movie. I think it's already beat the opening for Super uh, – or for Dragon Ball Super Broly. And uh, it was a really good movie. I'm, I'm going to let everyone else – give their opinion on the movie first because I don't want to um, sell anyone else's thunder because I believe everyone liked it. But uh, let us start with the one who I believe will be the most critical in this entire group about Dragon Ball superhero. That's Tim Snow. What? That's what? called a swerve. That was a, that was a major swerve. Okay. Um, That's what I do, yo. Dude, I'm going to be honest. I really, really enjoyed the story of it. Um, I thought the story went over very well. However, the um, I th and I'm not I'm not hating on CGI on, on all animes, uh, but I just and me and Matt actually talked about this. Yeah, we had a conversation uh, yesterday about I it. don't think and I thought about it after you said that and I actually deep dived this whole situation, but um. I, I'm just not a big fan of Dragon Ball and CGI. Uh, we'll just put it that way. But at the same time, do I so think you, that it... So you prefer the old animation? I, I think Dragon Ball Z looks better in 2D. I I agree with Tim. It it didn't kill it for me at all, though. I but it didn't it was, kill it. Yeah, it, it didn't it kill fine. it. It was done extremely well. It was, it was a different perspective that you could view the, uh, the, the your favorite characters and the story and I think, everything. I think the other thing about it is it's so weird to see that in comparison to, like, the 20-something years of seeing, like, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, like, I mean, from watching it. If it was something that started out as 3D, it might be. I started little, watching it's it. It's a little uncanny is, is I believe, what 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 it might be so i started watching it uh during the freezer arc um when i was a kid and this is when it was you know the dub on tv as it was showing hmm. um and going from that to what i saw on that screen was a major difference and it it, it was cool i'm not gonna say that i hated it i thought it was really cool it's just it's it's just you know, it's just kind of weird. Maybe it's something I I'm going to have to get used to with Dragon Ball moving forward. But I don't I mean, know. If the, I don't know if that's going to be the animation style. But forward. but CGI was done very well in animes like Attack on Titan. So like I, I I'm assuming and, and Matthew would probably know more about this. It has something to do with the, uh, the yeah, art so style. We, I, when we were talking about this yesterday, uh, I, I talked a little bit about it because I'm a big animation and art fan. In general, I go into a lot of stuff with that. Um, but Toriyama's art style and his design philosophy is extremely deeply rooted 
in how two-dimensional art works. Uh, take Goku's hairstyle, for example, is something that really can only exist properly in 2D. If you if you look at how it's pr uh, shown in 3D in the movie, um, it is all you're always seeing it in that same way that you see it in 2D, where you it is projected in the exact same way. There is no three-dimensional shape to it it is always kind of like mickey, mickey mouse's you. ears it's moving like, yeah it's like mickey mouse's ears you always see it as if you're seeing him head uh straight on even if you're seeing him from the side um and even and even gohan's an hair like when you first introduced it you're first introduced to him in the movie his hair looks funky like it looks weird yeah and it's a little different when their hair is spiked up i think actually his hair is disheveled because he just hasn't like bathed in a while well, I, I thought hairstyle. that too. Yeah, I but, mean, you could um, justify that, but the, are you, I mean, from what he's saying, you know, it could have been. Yeah, to style. Toriyama's designs and his art style is just so intrinsic to 2D that trying to put it into 3D is always going to have a bit of that uncanny feeling to it. I think the way that they adapted it into 3D is probably about as good as they possibly could have done it. And it looked perfectly fine. Certain shots looked a lot better than others, especially um, the, the shots that were more straight on and could be more uh directly related to how you would have done it in a two-dimensional space um and but like especially when you had a lot of shots in the movie that were actually animated uh in two-dimensional uh space rather than the 3d like the phone shots and that intro um when you actually see those side by side they just stand out that much more i think but Getting past um, the art style of it, though, I do want to say that the animation itself and the effects work and everything was fantastic. All Some the, of the key yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, 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 and I, I to, agree with that. I need, I, I need to cut you guys off for a second because if someone was listening for the first time, they would think that you guys are all going to say, "Do not go see this movie." Oh, no, 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 I know. I, know. I had all a right. fantastic time. All, with this all right, so, so this to me, what I just heard is the equivalent of Star Wars purists. When they're talking about prequels and postquels, all right, it's, no, it's, no, no, it's, no, it's a very no, different it's situation. It's definitely this is a different, different argument. We're, the, we're talking more. We're, argument. we're talking more about the production of it. Uh, like, and if, that's probably the only. If you thing are we not have into with. that, if you right, are not so, into how production works, so, don't listen to what any of us. By just the said. way, I went. I went to see <laughs> a movie. Great movie. I went to see a movie. These guys went to an art gallery. I, I mean, that's apparently what it is. Well, I mean, I think I, true I anime to, fans are though. It's like we're we're art turn. fans. It's my turn. It's my just turn. Saying, all right. It's saying. my turn. Don't listen to them. Go see this movie. This is one of the best <laughs> Dragon Ball movies of all time, in my opinion. And here's the other thing. Uh, Chris says on the Facebook stream, my son says Dragon Ball Z ended 10 years ago. I'm not sure. I just remember taking them to Toys R Us in the 2000s. Z probably ended longer than 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, then 20, uh, 25 then years uh, ago. a GT, yeah. GT happened. People tried to pretend like it never happened, but they're okay with Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, Super it, Saiyan 4 is really yeah, they're cool. okay with that, but they want to they want to act like that arc never happened. That's fine. And then Dragon Ball Super happened after that. And Super is more recent for us, at least the yeah. dubbed version. Um, so it's kept going for a long time. It's still one still one of the most beloved uh animes of all time in a ton of countries. It's still translated in a bunch of different languages. It was a very good movie. I really loved it. Was it was wonderful. I, oh, yeah. I, I loved the, the humor. I loved time. the story. Uh, I thought Piccolo was excellent. Oh, the return Piccolo of Piccolo. Piccolo was the yes. best part of the entire movie. The yes. return oh, yeah. of Piccolo was, dude, I was so happy well, to see Piccolo see just Piccolo like get a forefront. get a boost, get uh, a power boost, man. Uh, all right. So we, we do. All right. Out of five, what you got, Tim? Um, I will give it a 4.5. All right, Matthew. I'd give it a four. Solid movie. 4.5. All right, I'm going five. I think I think it was awesome uh, in every way, and I'm not necessarily the most generous. I have been very negative when it comes to certain things like Rogue One, the worst movie ever created by man, um, because there's no hope. But in this, it was really good. Uh, the worst part about this movie, though, the one thing, I don't stay for the, ex, for the uh, after credits. Don't stay Absolutely for that. stay for the after credits. Absolutely stay for the after credits. Yeah, it really is. No, it really is. Don't stay, don't stay for the after credits. I'll say this. Somebody's if you're a Vegeta a fan, fan what happened. stay don't, for dude, the end. Dude, do not spoil. I didn't say to spoil. I just said if you're a Vegeta you, fan, yeah, you just stay for the you, end. You just spoiled. Very much just spoiled. You just spoiled. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're talking She-Hulk. We're going to uh, chastise T2 properly during the break. You're listening to the Upstate Pulse right here. That's when you play the music. When you're supposed to play the music. Right here on 1063 WORD. Continue live on 1063 and Upstate Pulse Facebook pages. 
the YouTube page, the Twitch page, I still don't hear music. Why do I not hear music? Because you're there we go. Because you're you talking. Because you, no, you didn't turn it up. That's it why. Up. It's not, yeah, it's that's not right. in that mid-level. I'm at, all right, all right. You can hear it underneath. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, text line 71307. Should Tim be noobed for lack 